Greetings. I want to show you the FOBI order flow trading indicator from Ninda.co. This tool is designed to enable the trader to trade quickly and precisely. It has two areas, the comment area and the ladder area. First I want to explain the comment area. At the bottom it has the account selector and the time and force selector. The three common values are day, could till cancel and good till date. And then we have some buttons, the buy market order, the sell market order button, the close button by which we can close open position, the reverse button by which we can revert an open position. I will demonstrate it. I go long and now I want to go short. I revert the position and I'm short with one. Now I close the position and I'm flat. I can place some limit orders, go long and flat. This means the position is closed and the pending orders are cancelled. Next we have the ATM strategy selector. It is the same as in the Ninja Traders chart trader. We can select stop loss ATMs, take profit ATMs so that we can focus on the trading setups and do not have to worry unnecessarily about pending orders. Now the stop loss is placed, the ATM is active, it's working and when I quick the um, ATM orders are cancelled too. Then we have um, the OCO checkbox. We can create OCO groups. When we cancel one order of this group, all others are cancelled too. We can place pending orders cumulative. This means they will be added We can use them non-cumulative. This means that the lot size will be resized to the selected quantity. Um, exact checkbox I will explain later. Next we have the order type combo box. There we can select which order type we want to place. Limit orders, market orders, market if touched orders, stop limit orders or stop market orders. This is the quantity selector, the same as in Ninja Traders Chart Trader. So we can select the quantity by mouse wheel, these arrows, the quantity pad. 
or the keyboard. But Ninja.co's quantity selector has a unique and special feature. When we have an open position, and we want to close this open position with a limit order, then we can double click the position field and immediately the quantity size is set to our open position size. to explain the exact checkbox. It can have three values. First, um, true, exact. Um, when it is set, then we can only modify orders of the selected order type. So I place a limit order select market if touched orders and then I can right click on that limit order and it is not cancelled. I also cannot modify the price by drag and drop. If it is see me then first market if touched orders are handled and second if no market if touched orders are placed then also all other order types can be modified. If it is unchecked, I can modify all order types. Next, I want to explain the exact checkbox. It can have three values unchecked, checked, and see me. If it is unchecked, we can modify all orders independent of their order types. If it is checked, we can only modify orders of the selected order type. So, if we have a pending market if touched order and I select limit order, I cannot modify this order by right clicking, it will not be cancelled, and I cannot change the price by drag and dropping. But I can flatten. It only works for um, the ladder area. And see me <coughs> means that first the orders of the selected order type will be selected, and second, if there is no order of this order type at the corresponding place all other order types will be modified. So if I place limit order and market if touched order and they are on the same price and I want to cancel them 
first the market if touched order will be cancelled and thereafter I can cancel all other orders. Now by exact I can only cancel the market if touched order. If it is unchecked, I can cancel everything. Now I want to explain the ladder area of the FOBI order flow trading indicator from ninda.co. At the bottom we have the collapse button with which we can collapse the comment area. We have the settings button with which we can open the settings window. Here we can customize our trading tool without the need of reloading it. Because when we change the variables in the indicator setting The tool will be reloaded, but with the settings tool you can change them on the fly. And here we have um, some information about the account, the quantity and the selected ATM. We can center our letter. We can close our position, we can cancel all pending orders and we can clear the footprint. This footprint is a unique one, I will explain it later. First uh, the price column. It shows the current price of the market. Now I want to explain the columns of the ladder area. The price column obviously shows the market prices which correspond to the rows. Um, with this column we can immediately read the current market price, the current bid price and the current ask price. And also we can see the average entry price of our open position. Um, You will see the average entry price changed. Next we have the buy and sell columns. The colorized areas demonstrate the bid and the ask area. Then we can see the current ask, the current bid prices and the spread. And also we can see all pending orders which we have set. Next we can see the footprint columns. Um, these footprint is a unique and special one because it doesn't only show the market hits on a given price or the market hits of a um, time span. This footprint shows the battle of the market. We see here how the market orders hit and so we have here 
area of a current combat and all these combat areas are part of the current battle but if an area is long enough not part of the combat then the values will be set to zero so we only see the current and active battle independent how long it lasts next we have the iceberg column um, currently we do not see any iceberg iceberg orders are a special type of order to buy or sell a huge amount and so they are important for scalpers next we have the resistance column now the resistance value is calculated um, by means of the limit orders and the absorbed market orders so it shows the um, existing resistance on a given price and on this basis we can estimate future resistance and decide if we have a resistance or or not now we have a little iceberg and a huge resistance so we do not want to go short in this area and next we have the volume column it is just showing the volume of the current session so we can see high volume and low volume areas which can be very important for trading decisions okay.